Welcome to SimplyBook.me's tutorial on configuring your timeline. Setting up your booking system is an important step in the configuration of your appointment page. While there are many links at the top of the page, we want to focus on selecting the timeline you want and setting it up the way you want your customers to view it. You have two styles of timeline options to choose from. Style 1 lets you determine the amount of time to book each appointment in. Style 2 allows your customer to book as much time as they feel they need for any specific event. As you scroll down the page, click the appropriate radio button to either use Timeline with defined time slots or Timeline with additional flexibility and adjust your timeline accordingly. On the bottom left portion of the page, you'll be able to choose the time intervals that best suit this service. And you'll be able to choose different intervals for different services that you provide. Notice that when you choose different interval choices on the left side of the page, how it changes the calendar on the right side of the page. This is how your customer will see and choose their appointment options. As you scroll further down the page, you'll have to make choices on your time zone, your time format, how much advance notice you need, and how far ahead you will allow your clients to book your services. There's also a link on this page to go back and adjust the hours you will be available to do this service. This kind of flexibility can be great if you're not able to offer a specific service during all of your business hours. You can also adjust hours based on employee availability. This is great if you have people that come in only during certain hours a day and may not be available during all business hours. There are also options available for vacations and for daily break time. There are also options on the page to connect with your Google Calendar and to activate certain plugins that make your system work even better. We'll cover those two items in a later tutorial. For now, make sure that you save all the work that you've done with the button at the bottom of the page. And thanks, we'll look for you at the next tutorial.